welcome back. In this week's Focus on Ag, more than 30% of dry land cotton planted in this area was abandoned. This comes after a tough growing season with very little rainfall and extreme heat. KCBD News Channel 11's Patricia Perry breaks down what the cotton crop looks like this far into the season and what's expected to change. Patricia. Brittany, the director of policy analysis and research at Plains Cotton Growers, Sean Wade, says the organization covers 42 counties in the Texas High Plains. He says as of the first of this month, 35% of the dryland acres in that area were abandoned. Over the last month or so, you know, we, we begin, we've begun to see, you know, more and more of our dryland acres uh, be failed out. Wade says it's a loss of a little more than 1 million dry land acres across the 42 counties so far this season. He expects that number to rise during the next two to four weeks. We anticipate that number to continue to kind of grow as growers are, you know, even today continuing to make decisions on fields whether to harvest or not to harvest. That's accompanied by less cotton being planted at the start of a season. Wade says farmers in this area normally plant about 3.7 million acres. This year they only planted about 3.3 million. When we got those big rainfall events back in June, we had uh, so much rainfall in some areas in such a short period of time. They actually had some areas that were too wet to plant in a timely fashion. After that rain, Wade says we got very little during the growing season and extremely hot temperatures were rough on the cotton. Simply didn't have, you know, the weather conditions necessary, uh, you know, to create good yields and, and a lot of those, uh, those fields are just uh, in such poor condition that, that they're actually being failed and not taken all the way to harvest. This is the second year in a row King Cotton hasn't had the best of luck. Wade says the infrastructure around the crop will struggle once again. Probably a little bit better than the 2022 season, but not overall very much different uh, and will still create a lot of stress, you know, for our local infrastructure, especially the cotton gins, uh, warehouses and such. As farmers continue to decide if they will harvest some fields, Wade expects about 60% of the dry land acres will be harvested by the end of the season. That's all for this week's Focus on Ag. I'm Patricia Perry.